Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Hi, I'm Mr. D, the film teacher at St. Michael's, and we're doing a very special Seder view, and I thought I would be the one to host it. Now, I was thinking about doing some kind of a gimmick or some kind of a thing to get you interested, like maybe pretending to be a younger version of myself. Hello, fellow kids. Do you like the hip hop? But I know that you're all too smart and sophisticated to fall for, let's be honest, was a perfectly executed meme. But we do have a special episode. Now, before we get into why it's special, we're going to go to our distance learning correspondent, McKay, for a great interview with Mr. Council. Hi, Seder View. This week's interview is with Mr. Council. Hi, Mr. Council. Hello, hello. How's your quarantine going? Uh, you know, not too bad. It's a bit of a challenge. Um, a plethora of inconveniences, but uh, it could be a lot worse. Yeah. It's definitely an interesting experience, to say the least. What activities have been keeping you busy? School! Oh my gosh, it, it, it is a lot of work just trying to keep up with the new distance learning. But uh, I've also been kind of having some fun uh, around the house. I've started a new project um, with Earth Day, which was last week. Uh, there's a website or an app called iNaturalist, iNat, where you can take pictures of organisms and then identify them. And I've started a new project where I'm trying to upload at least one observation every day from my yard. So I'm learning the names of plants and animals that live in my house. Uh, that's been a lot of fun. So just, you know, getting outside, enjoying nature, um, and then, uh, you know, just enjoying some special time with my family, a little bit more walks with the dog and my wife, which is fantastic. That's awesome. It's good to get outside during this. Yeah, no kidding. What new technology have you had to learn and adapt to use for this? Uh, a lot of technology. You know, um, Camtasia is a software package that I'm using now to record videos. Uh, I've, I've really gotten to know my SMCA a lot more. I've learned about some new homework assignments. Um, there's, and Zoom. Man, I am a Zoom master now. I actually attended a Zoom training class earlier today. But... Um, there's a lot of it. I mean, it's, it's not something that I was prepared for in my 16 plus years of teaching. So there's been a lot of technology uh, up curve in the learning. Yeah, there has been definitely for sure. How long did you originally think this online learning was going to last? <sighs> Honestly, I was, a, I was afraid it would be a while. Uh, the more I learned about the history of pandemics like this and what happened in the 1918, 1917, 1918 H1N1 uh, pandemic, I, I was kind of thinking the worst. So I'm still not sure when it'll end. Um, I'm hopeful very soon. Mm -hmm. You did for our first week of school a kind of lesson on COVID-19. What are some interesting facts you've learned about this? Um, that we weren't ready for it, even though we knew it was uh, inevitable. Um, it also says a lot about evolution and about how organisms, or viruses aren't organisms, but how uh, things can mutate and change over time and how we're, we weren't ready for it um, biologically. We had no exposure to this uh, RNA sequence, so we, we had no immunities to it. Um, I, I hope we learn a lot from it and we get to you know, be more ready uh, for the next one that comes around because there will be another. Yeah, it's really interesting. I've looked into some of the history of the pandemics and they do happen every hundred years or so with the 1918 one being the last one. And we are such a global market now where, you know, products and people move back and forth between co uh, countries, you know, all the time, which was a little different than it was a hundred years ago. And so I think we're kind of, setting ourselves up to move these things around very quickly. And then our population centers, you know, when you have millions of people living together, sharing transportation. It's hard not to spread a virus that's passed through uh, upper respiratory infections. So, yeah, scary. Absolutely, yeah. I'm glad we're more prepared now than 100 years ago. We definitely have more medical knowledge. You know what what, um, is, oh, sorry, yes. What else is really good is, is communication. I mean, the, the fact that so much information is out there 
that people can make some very um, informed decisions about their behaviors. And that wasn't there 100 years ago. So I'm very happy with that too. It is. It's incredible how we've evolved over time with biology and with technology. How have you been keeping in touch with people? Well, you know, believe it or not, Zoom is a fun thing. I, we've had some little virtual happy hours with friends where, you know, we just get together and talk. Um, my mother-in-law turns 89 on um, Star Wars Day, May the 4th. So she will be 89 years old. So we're planning a, a drive-by birthday party for her. So we've talked to some mm -hmm. neighbors. We're going to have a picnic table out at the front of, of her driveway by the street with with uh, treats like cupcakes on it. And we're encouraging neighbors to just drive by, pick up a cupcake and wave from a distance, you know? Um, so taking advantage of some of these just social distancing rules. I mean, we've had some drive by swapping of foods with some friends, just passing things on and off. But virtually, uh, Zoom is a big thing. You know, just getting to see people, um, talking on the phone a lot. I'm, I'm talking with my parents in North Carolina uh, a lot. so. Um, you have, you have to reach out. That's very sweet of you. I hope she has a good birthday. Oh, I'm sure she will. Thank you for coming on today, having an interview with us for State of View. Anytime. Now, we are all aware at St. Michael's that we are in a very different and very challenging time. And one of the things that it's impacted has been our senior class. We are very aware that for 13 years, you've all built up to an event and a series of events, really, that are supposed to happen in May that just aren't. And one of the things that our administration, led by Ms. Hudson, did was try to create as fun a cap and gown pickup event as we could. So let's take a look. Hi, graduates of 2020. So happy for you on this year. Can't wait to see you. Go Crusaders! <laughs>
Now, one of the things that does make St. Michael so special is our fine arts department. Uh, I mean, in fact, the music department was featured on KXAN just the other day, and you can find a link to that. It's been all over St. Michael's social media. One of the things that makes that special is that it's very student-led and very student-driven. The different art teachers, myself, Mr. Moreland, Mr. Clausia, or Ms. McKenzie, we can do a lot to get a group going, but if we don't have students that are bought in and willing to do all the extra work it takes to be successful, it just doesn't work. And I wanted to take this opportunity to say goodbye to some of our seniors who, even though the, the film program kind of is behind the scenes a lot of, a lot of the time, have really done a great job for the majority of their four years here to make films and support the other programs as well as create Seder View. And so I wanna do a very sincere, heartfelt goodbye and best wishes to the following students. Josh Esparza, Mary Norton, Luke Pierce, Helena Elledge, Hunter Rogers, and Jackson Yale. I'm sincerely gonna miss you guys. I know that you will do nothing but great things as you leave our walls and go out into the world. And so I look forward to you guys coming back in and checking in and, and getting that kind of, I'm in the middle of lunch eating a sandwich at my desk and there's a knock at the outside door and I look over and it's one of you guys. I cannot wait for that to happen. To everybody else, continue to stay safe. We will be back with more news from Seder View next week. But until next time, go Crusaders. I don't, I don't know how to do the hand thing though. I should, Helena, Helena, you're supposed to help me with this stuff.